Ah, jot my lap! He explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. If you've been on the game review side of YouTube lately, you've probably noticed at least one of your favorite reviewers is talking about the Plucky Squire. So, why is everyone in awe by this newly released indie game developed by all possible futures and published by Devolver Digital? One of the main reasons for the charm of the Plucky Squire is due to James Turner, co-director of the game who's worked on Pokemon which heavily influences the game's art style. The game's main selling point is its ability to switch from its beautiful 2D hand-drawn aesthetics into a playfully crafted 3D world. You trek through an endearing storybook with all the perks of a 2D game where you can move freely on its pages, occasionally being asked to play as a 2D side-scroller. Your main combat arsenal consists of a basic 3-hit sword combo and dodging. There isn't much in terms of collectibles outside of artwork that gives you a peek into the game's development. You can use light bulbs you gather to purchase upgrades such as improving your sword damage or a small assortment of skills such as a sword throw, a downward thrust, which for some reason I haven't been able to use when in the 2D side scroller section, but it works everywhere else, and a sword spin akin to Link from the Zelda games. You even get a cute little mini training mode when you purchase one of these skills to show off how they work. While the light bulbs are mainly used to buy sword skills, you do get several different abilities to alter the book, which changes how you interact with the 2D levels. For example, you can remove certain words from text and replace it with other words you found to alter the book in some way. You can even get the ability to turn the page to find useful words, items, or interact with hidden areas that were outside the main predetermined storybook path. Not only that, but you will learn the ability to jump out of the book to also tilt the book to solve puzzles that affect the environment in some way. The creativity doesn't just end with being able to manipulate the book, the plucky squire dabbles bits and pieces of alternate gameplay styles throughout your adventure, from an RPG battle with a fantastical playing card, to a heavy metal rhythm game where you jam out to defeat enemies, there are an assortment of little unique gameplay moments to give you a breather from slashy slashy walking around and adventuring. For better or for worse, the normal difficulty is extremely easy. There's an absolute pinata of hearts that drop when you defeat enemies or cut through the environment. It is fairly difficult to ever feel like you're cornered in this game. The platforming is rather simple, nothing that's going to push your skill set to its limits. But oddly enough, at least for me on PC, I can only move with the analog. The D-pad couldn't move the character at all, which was a little frustrating in the 2D side-scrolling sections where I gotta use the analog. But if you're new to gaming or just want to introduce a young one to their first gaming quest, the Plucky Squire has an easy mode and a customizable difficulty. For example, you can make it so the game will help you make difficult jump, disable falling platforms, or be completely invincible and have the strength of a storybook writer and wipe enemies out in a single swipe. This game isn't here to give you a badge of honor like beating Cuphead does. The Plucky Squire is just a chill, nice adventure of you, Jot, and his many companions. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrump. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good land, well done, Racky. Jot is the main protagonist of this game. Everyone knows about the legendary tales of the Plucky Squire. He is the hero that always defeats the main villain, Humprump. You see, somehow, Humprump discovered that their destiny is predetermined because it's all just a story written by someone named Sam. Angered by his lack of free will and being preordained by the constraints of being a storybook character, Humprump takes matters into his own hands and shoots Jot out of his own book so he can rewrite the book as he wishes. Jot must make new allies as he ventures forth to stop Humprump from ruining Sam's story and potentially ruining his career and happiness. You see, we get glimpses of the creator of the Plucky Squire books, Sam. If Humprump ruins the Plucky Squire stories and makes Sam lose his passion for writing, what then will the future of dear old Sam and all the children he may have yet to inspire? If there's one minor weakness of the game, it's its lack of voice acting. 
You will primarily hear the narrator talk you through the story, but the dialogue has no voiceover for you. With that said, the game launched at 30 US dollars and is available on pretty much every modern platform. With its childlike charm and all killer, no filler approach to game design, I highly, highly recommend you pick this up. For this 9 hour adventure, you will recapture the childlike feeling of discovering a brand new picture book that will inspire your imagination in ways you never thought possible.